Let's now have a brief summary of eicosanoid production. The cell membrane phospholipid is degraded by phospholipase A2 enzyme to release arachidonic acid, which is modified by cyclooxygenase isoenzymes, COX-1 or COX-2, to produce the transient PGG2, which is rapidly reduced by peroxidase enzyme to PGH2. The PGH2 is a direct precursor of all prostanoids such as thromboxane, prostaglandins and prostacycline. Arachidonic acid could also be engaged in leukotriene production pathways, which are started by the action of 5-lipooxygenase enzyme to produce intermediate 5-HPETE, which is further modified by the same 5-lipooxygenase enzyme to produce leukotriene A4. LTA4 gives rise to either LTB4, LTC4, LTD4 or LTDE4. Then these leukotrienes bind to the cellular receptors to induce various biological effects. Icosinoids are strongly involved in mediating inflammation. Therefore, all icosinoid inhibitors work as anti-inflammatory agents. Starting from the early step in the icosinoid production pathway, corticosteroids, specifically the glucocorticoids, interfere with the phospholipase A2 enzyme, therefore interfering with the production of almost all types of inflammatory icosinoids. Indeed, glucocorticoids are a broad spectrum of anti-inflammatory agents with a wide range of biological effects. But unfortunately, they have a wide range of notorious side effects. The non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, abbreviated as NSAIDs, unselectively inhibit both COX-1 and COX-2 isoenzymes. Remember, glucocorticoids are steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, whereas COX inhibitors are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. NSAIDs inhibit the production of all prostanoids, including prostaglandin, thromboxane and prostacycline. It is clinically important to note that the blockage of prostaglandin production pathways by NSAIDs direct more arachidonic acid toward leukotriene production, which negatively affect asthmatic patients. The relatively new selective COX-2 inhibitors have no effect on COX-1. Therefore, they don't interfere with thromboxane production. Going to leukotriene pathways, you'll notice that the drug Zoluton interferes with 5-lipooxygenase enzyme, thus inhibiting the production of all inflammatory leukotrienes. Finally, Zephylucas and Montelukas drugs are selective competitive inhibitors of leukotriene C4, D4 and E4 receptors. This video was narrated by Alexandra Daniela, King's College London, KCL University.